The Sola Scriptura Liturgical Prayer Book, Week 2, Sunday Afternoon, Invitation to Prayer, Psalm 30, verse 4, and 32, verse 11. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Call upon the Lord, Psalm 86, verses 11 and 12. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. Praise the Lord. Psalm 57, verse 5. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. The readings. God is our refuge. Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 31. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Exodus chapter 14, verses 13 through 31. Excerpts. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them, on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them into the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the waters returned, and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh, that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore, and Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and believed the Lord, and his servant Moses. The last reading, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 7. For what nation is there so great, who hath God so nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is, in all things that we call upon him for? Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof warm be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah! There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Let us pray. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9b through 13. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 
Psalm 31, verse 5. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Pause here and give thanks and pray for your personal intentions. Consider praying that we may always trust that the Lord will rescue us according to his counsel. A plea for mercy. Psalm 27, 7. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. Psalm 3, 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Praise the Lord. Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. Philippians 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Revelation 22, verse 20c. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.